Well, the news is now out, and it is astonishing. Researchers have discovered the mechanism that makes us age, and they claim they can really slow it down. For the past couple of months, 2020 was given exclusive access to these scientists, looking over their shoulders as they moved us closer to what might really be a fountain of youth. Tonight, I'll take you behind the scenes of this amazing discovery. Scientists reached for the stars, and it seems they came pretty close. Throughout the universe, stars and galaxies live for billions of years, and time seems to stand still. But not for us here on Earth, where we grow older every second. It seems as if an invisible clock is ticking, keeping track of our lifespan. Uh, the first thing I remember is the end of the First World War in, in 1918. At 83, Texas oil man Miller Quarles has exceeded the average life expectancy by nearly a decade. And luckily, he is still in remarkably good health. I have none of the defects of an old person. My eyesight's good, my hearing is good, my smelling is good, <laughs> sex life is good, everything is good. Miller is passionate about not getting old. The Houston millionaire fervently believes that an alternative to aging and dying is possible. Fortunately for him, so do some of the country's best scientific minds. Quarles has put his money where his beliefs are and invested in Geron, a California biotech company where scientists are in a high stakes race to be the first out of the gate with a totally new way of treating old age, a concept shaped around one fundamental and revolutionary idea. Most of us believe that a significant part of what we call normal human aging is a result of cell aging. All these cell aging. To Geron founder, molecular biologist Michael West and his researchers, it's at the very core of why we grow old. Their high-tech quest to explore exactly how the cell controls the aging process, the key, they say, to the cause and not just the symptoms of aging. It's been the holy grail of gerontology research to find this fundamental molecular cause of cellular aging. So these are the old cells. At Geron, all signs point to telomeres. The clock many believe lives inside our cells, programming them to grow old and die. These clocks are found at the tips of our chromosomes, much like the tips on the end of shoelaces. Each time our cells divide, the telomeres shorten, bit by bit, and our cells lose critical genetic material. They begin to act old. They slow down their endless dividing and eventually die out. And I asked them... Geron scientists believe that when our aging cells break down, it leads directly to tissue damage in our body, which opens the way for so many of the diseases we experience as we age. I wanted to know if my telomeres reflected my age, and I took the opportunity to enter the brave new world of telomeres. I had my blood drawn, and my 27-year-old grandson's blood was drawn as well. Using a sophisticated laboratory analysis, Geron measured our telomeres. At 27, my grandson Cameron has lost about 40% of his telomere strand. At 76, my results indicated that I've lost about 70%. But what if I could lengthen my telomeres and reset my cellular clock? That's a profound question. Even more astounding, we may now have answers. In a groundbreaking study reported just this week, Geron researchers say they have proven their theory about telomeres. Telomeres are the clock that controls aging within our cells. And they have even found the key to rewind that clock. It's telomerase, what even scientists are now calling an immortalizing enzyme. It actually rebuilds telomeres. When telomerase was added to human cells, the scientists discovered that telomeres were lengthened. The cells continued to live and divide without telomere loss. So far, increasing their lifespan by 40 to 50 percent. And Geron scientists tell 2020 they are still dividing. It's the result they've been dreaming of. It changes everything. It certainly will have an impact, we think, in the future about how we treat age-related disease. We think many age-related diseases are a manifestation of the aging of cells. Dr. Huber Warner is director of the molecular biology program at the National Institute on Aging. He is optimistic about the future of telomere research. I think this is a very important and exciting discovery because it may provide us with a new way to intervene in treating age-related diseases. So what does this new discovery really mean? Will my grandson be able to take a pill 
to slow the aging process and avoid the illnesses of old age? Will I feel fit enough to still be working in the year 2020? That would be a fitting year for me to work. What you're looking at is the potential to be 95 years old or 110 years old and still be playing tennis or bicycling or, or any number of things you'd like to do. You need me? Dr. Michael Fossil treats patients, young and old, in the emergency room at St. Mary's Hospital in Michigan. He's the author of a book on telomere research, Reversing Human Aging, and an investor in Geron. He says turning back the cell's clock may herald a new age in medicine. It lies at the basis of almost all the diseases that you and I think about day to day. Now, it wouldn't affect whether you get the common cold, but it theoretically will affect the Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, strokes, osteoarthritis, you name it. So the potential is greater than anything else we've done in medical science, potentially ever. By lengthening telomeres, doctors hope to reverse aging in blood cells and actually rejuvenate the immune system in elderly people and reduce the high incidence of infections such as pneumonia. And by extending the life of cells in our eyes through telomere therapy, doctors may be able to treat macular degeneration, which is the leading cause of blindness in the United States and currently incurable. Ironically, one thing that helped scientists link diseases of old age to shorten telomeres was their studies of a rare condition which afflicts a very special group of children. So what grade are you in now, John? Fourth. John Tackett was diagnosed with progeria, a rapid aging disease, when he was two years old. For every one year of life, he ages about nine. Today, John is nine years old, but has the body of an 80-year-old man. So, John, I noticed when we were walking together that you... You walk a little bit like I did before I had a knee replacement job. Do you have, do you have any problem with your knees? Um, I think it gets a little sore. Like, it sometimes feels sore, doesn't uh, it? Yeah. I can't put my knees together. There are only 28 children in the world identified with the same type of progeria as John. These children develop many diseases of old age, even though they don't have the typical risk factors. What they do have are shortened telomeres. They don't have high cholesterol, they don't smoke, they don't have diabetes, they don't have high blood pressure, and yet they die of heart attacks. They're born with bodies that tell them they're already old, and they act that way. Wave to that man over there. At present, there is no treatment for progeria. But before scientists decide which patients will be first to benefit from telomere therapy, there's more research to be done. Although they know they can reverse human cell aging in a laboratory, they must now begin testing to see if they can reverse cell aging in us. It's a potential. It's a real potential. It doesn't mean it will happen. According to leading telomere researcher Dr. Judith Campisi, there are still many important questions that remain to be answered. It still remains extremely controversial among scientists. There are still lots of surprises out there that we have yet to discover. But it moves us from the realm of science fiction to, to possible um, real benefits. Could we someday find a pill that would actually turn on telomerase in cells? I think so. Uh, it's on our radar screen. It's something we're looking for today. Do the follow-up, do the... Michael Fossil thinks an anti-aging pill could be available within 10 years, and most of us would be candidates. My feeling clinically is that you'd want to wait till people were adults, but before you begin to have aging changes. For example, in your 20s, 30s. On the other hand, the drugs still potentially have something to offer you as a 90-year-old or 70-year-old just not as much as they would before those changes occur. Mike Fossil pushes the envelope much further than other experts with his prediction that telomere therapy will not only make us healthier, it will help us live much longer lives. I think what you'll see is lifespans of several hundred years. Healthy lifespans. And not only would you feel good, you'd look good too. There's no chance that you could live to be 150 and just be, be old the whole time. The only way you can live to be 150 is if we change the aging process and prevent those diseases. So literally, you'd have the same physiology of a 40-year-old or 50-year-old or 30-year-old and so on. What is human lifespan? The maximum achievable time we can live. Recently, it was a woman in, in France that lived into her 120th year. If there ever was a technology that could extend lifespan, I think this would be it. I think definitively we found the clock that controls cellular aging. That is
It's absolutely extraordinary. Is there any downside? Well, possibly. There will be the usual cautious approach, you know, testing and FDA approval. Some people worry that uh, the technique could aggravate or cause some cancers. They need to rule that out before mm -hmm. they can uh, be totally green light on it. But the timetable is, uh, as usual, long. It uh, holds real promise that people may be having it before long. What's the timetable? Well, the most conservative estimate is five to ten years before it would be generally available. But they need to do it that way. But this will revolutionize our whole society. We yeah. have enough problems now dealing with people as they get older. You oh, mean people are within five or ten years, there'll be people like you and me who can live to be 150? And the hope is that at 150 we'd be like uh, somebody at uh, 75 or 80. Uh, that would be nice if it worked that way. This yeah. is, I said, extraordinary, and that's an understatement. We'll ah, have to we'll see what happens. Oh, we'll be right back. <laughs>